So this is the continuation of our video lesson last time. So talking about the laws of exponents. So we're going to discuss uh, more of the laws of exponents. Okay, so let's start. Okay, so the next rule or the next law that we're going to discuss is about the product of a power rule. So in this rule, it states that the power of a product is equal to the product of their powers. Or in symbol, you have quantity A, B raised to M, which is equal to A raised to M, B raised to M. So the exponent here is used to multiply to the exponents of the variables inside the quantity. Okay, so let's have some examples. So example number one, we have quantity P raised to 6, Q raised to 5, raised to 3. So 3 here will be used to multiply uh, to the exponents of P and Q. And that we can write, so you can see, as P raised to 6 times 3. No? So you have, you have here P raised to 6 times 3. And then, so with Q, so Q raised to 5 times 3. So you can write it like this. Okay, so if we're, we can now multiply the exponents. So you have 6 times 3. So that's equal to 18, then copy P. Then for Q, you have 5 times 3. You have the answer as 15. So our final answer is P raised to 18, Q raised to 15. Next. Quantity C raised to 7, D raised to 8, raised to 4. So 4 will be used to multiply to the exponents of variables C, D. And that we can write it like this. So you can have C raised to 7 times 4. So 7 times 4. And then D raised to 8 times 4. So we can now multiply. So we have the answers as 7 times 4, which is equal to 28, and then 8 times 4, which is equal to 32. And that our final answer is C raised to 28, D raised to 32. Okay, next. So for number 3, we have more variables. So you have M raised to 10, or quantity M raised to 10, N raised to 4, and P raised to 2 raised to 5. So 5 here will be used to multiply the exponents of variables m, n, and p. So we can write it like this so you can see. So you have m raised to 10 times 5. Okay. Then for n raised to 4 is also multiplied by the exponent 5. Then for p, so copy p squared and then multiply it by 5. Okay, so we're now ready to multiply the exponents. So we have m now raised to 50 because 10 times 5 is 50. Then for n, you have 4 times 5, so that is equal to 20. For p, you have 10 because 2 times 5 is equal to 10. So that is how the product of a power will be done. Okay, next. So we also have the what is so-called the power of a quotient rule. So in here, we have that the power of a quotient is equal to the quotient of their powers. Or in symbol, we have A or quantity A over B raised to M, which is equal to A raised to M over by B raised to M. So we're going to use the exponent outside again to uh, for the exponents of our uh, numer numerator here and denominator. So to understand, let's have some examples. So for number one, we have quantity A raised to 6 over by B, I'm sorry, quantity A over B raised to 6. And that is equal now to a raised to 6 over by B raised to 6. So how? 
So always remember that a here has an exponent of 1. Okay? So a raised to 1. Then also for b, you have b raised to 1. So 1 times 6, so that is equal to 6. And then for b, 1 times 6 is also equal to 6. Okay? Next. So how about this one? So quantity x raised to 5 over by y raised to 10 raised to 3. So, so what I've said, you're going to use 3 here to multiply to the exponents of our variables in the numerator and denominator. So we can have x now is or raised to 5 times 3. So you can have it like this. And then y raised to 10, the denominator is also multiplied by 3, no? their exponents. So we have, okay, our answer as x raised to 15 over by y raised to 30. So 5 times 3, that is 15. And then over by y, 10 times 3, that is equal to 30. So our final answer is x raised to 15 over by y raised to 30. Okay? Next. So quantity 2 x raised to 4 over by 3 y raised to 7 raised to 3. So as you can see, we already have a numerical coefficient here. So same process. So you have, which is equal now to, so 2 here, it, has, it also has a, an exponent which is 1, which is 2 raised to 1. So that is why we have 2 raised to 3 here because 1, but 2 raised to 1 is 1 times 3. So that is why we have 2 raised to 3. Then next for the variable is x raised to 4 times 3. So we have it like this. Next, same with the denominator. So 3 here has an exponent of 1. So multiply the exponent of 3, which is 1, to 3. So that is equal to 3 raised to 3. Then for y, you have y raised to 7 times 3. Okay? So we can write it like this for our solution. Okay? So to simplify, we have now our answer as 8x12 or raised to 12 over by 27y raised to 21. So how could we be able to get 8 here? So we need to simplify 2 raised to 3. So what does 2 raised to 3 mean? So it means that we have 3 2s. So multiply 2 by itself 3 times. So 2 times 2, that is 4, then times 2 is 8. And then copy variable x, so you have 4 times 3, that is 12. Then for the denominator, it says here, or it, we have here that we have 3 3s. So multiply 3, 3 times by itself. So 3 times 3. Is, say, uh, is 9 times 3 is 27. And then multiply the exponents, then copy the variable, so which is 21. So 8 and 27 here do not have a common factor. So that is why we can say now that our final answer is 8x raised to 12 over 27y raised to 21. Okay, so that is all about um, the other two a loss or rule that we have for the loss of exponents. So, okay, thank you. We still have more, no, last two important rules in terms of the loss of exponents. So, we'll have that in another video lesson.